I'll have you some more action on the TT Isle of Man ride on the edge. And talking about on the edge here, here we are on the handlebars of this bike from the run I showed you last week. You saw the uh, some clips of this in the lengthy video. You saw uh, a bit of the front cam and now we see the handlebar cam. Uh, I haven't gone into this in too much detail at the moment. Uh, you know, there are different view options in terms of how your head looks into the corners. I, I have to admit, I haven't been entirely comfortable with a head movement because uh, it moves your center away from the bike a bit. And I think if you get your head in, but then again, I've never been great on bike anyway. Uh, I do like the front cam. It's quite rigid with the, with the bike itself. I find that works for me gives a better feeling of speed I think it's a shame you can't don't have the visor cam I mentioned that in the uh, Northern Ireland video uh, but I found that you know they're, they're sort of I've worked a lot to improve the physics from the early build I can see a few people in the comments mentioning the early build that they played a few months ago you know there's a lot of changes uh, that have come to this game since uh, that build so it's not not the same you'd have fallen off the bike 10 times already if you were playing that early build because the physics weren't complete and there wasn't no rear wheel traction in that it, it, it would just sort of lose it all the time especially if you let off it would uh, throw you off the course so we've waited until we've got something a bit more uh, finished Feel, no problem again for me with the feeling of speed in this video I think for me that's still quite a great feeling of speed I'm not not getting any issues there uh, again I'm I think this was the first version I did it without the the uh, which one the uh, the uh, racing line of course first time I did it without the racing line and I have to say this is a relentlessly challenging circuit I mean I'm only doing the first three and a half minutes here and I found it really tough learning the quirks and nuances just of this section it all looks so similar there's so many trees uh, that it does get you know quite similar you know, it's quite similar in terms of its look and where you can commit wow I mean it, it never ceases to amaze me when I in the videos to come I know that I'm gonna have to run the full course terrifying <laughs> just trying to learn the course and demonstrate it to you guys tricky section through there by going wide on the power uh, and yeah so Northern Ireland track yesterday a uh, quick look here at the uh, handlebars video today and then we've got another couple of videos coming up on the uh, Scotland track Wales track and a look at the a lengthy video really I don't know how it's going to be cut yet but looking at the various handling assists on and off so I can show you that show you me how I get on crashing speed uh, how that's affected and so on it, I think I called a few bushes there but got away with it and you've got that nice lighting through the screen itself it, again you do feel quite committed I, I say even when I was making this video you do feel a certain tension that I've done, got this far and haven't crashed yet please let me finish the video without crashing just a few corners to go and we come round and in a moment we'll go over the line. So that's it for this quick video looking at the handlebars. More from me to come in the coming days and there'll be more from me very soon. <laughs>